Hello, Internet! Welcome to Bee Theory, the show that has the same shelf life as honey forever. And yes, guys, you read the title correctly, Bee Swarm finally has lore. And of course, we're gonna do it game theory style. But anyways, as of this morning, on it released this new video as a teaser trailer for a new game called Atrium. And believe it or not, this thing is absolutely packed with lore. If you haven't seen the video yet, I put the link to it in the description. But you might think that this video makes no sense sense, and you're partially right, but after digging deep, I found that this video contains information that will change my perception on Bee Swarm Simulator forever. I'm starting to believe that there might be a greater power in this game, and that it's up to you to save the beekeepers. So here we go, my loyal theorists, let's break down this Bee Swarm lore. Now, when we first start off the video, we're greeted with a piece of text stating the secret of the lid. A quick rundown of the lid for anyone who doesn't know what it is, it's this white circle in the 30B zone, and it's been nicknamed the lid by Onnit himself, and he's always joked about maybe in future updates that the lid will come off and we'll finally understand what's beneath it. Sadly though, that update has never come, but it's always been a fun thing to joke about in the Bee Swarm Simulator community. At least that was until now. Because right off the bat, it's stated that this video might contain secrets of the lid that we previously didn't know about. Now, a few seconds later in the video, we get some footage of someone walking around in the hallway recording it. Considering how the video's starting off, I'm assuming that this place was actually entered through the lid. To be honest, it seems more like a maze, and you honestly don't think too much of it until you start to look at the text on the side, because if you look in the top right corner, it actually states VHS iPhone, showing that this footage is actually being recorded on an iPhone. To the average person, this doesn't seem too special, as iPhone is indeed a big brand of smartphones in the modern day. But then you actually start to stop and think. Well, where in the world would you get an iPhone and why would you even have it? Because if you just entered this maze through the lid, then that means that you came from the Bee Swarm Simulator game. And to be honest, this game is all about collecting pollen with primitive tools and there's no real access to technology. There's no iPhones in this game and the closest thing we get to a smartphone in general is the translator that you get from Science Bear Quests. And then that's when we're hit with this message. How well do you really think you know Science Bear? This sort of paints Science Bear as the villain, and it does make sense, as on it does indirectly reference in his second Star Journey quest that he hates making dialogue for Science Bear, but Science Bear actually starts to become extremely important in this theory, because out of all the bears, I think Science Bear actually seems to be the smartest because he is, well, a Science Bear. And if you're a scientist, that definitely requires a lot of schooling and knowledge, showing that Science Bear might be the most educated out of all the bears. So while most bears might seem a little stupid and you just collect quests from them, it seems like Science Bear knows a bit more than anyone else, not just in general, but about the game itself. Because if you didn't know, Science Bear is indeed aware that we are in a game and that it's just a simulation. Because it's referenced multiple times in the quest dialogue, Science Bear also knows that there will be updates and has access to technology like translators. Now we ourselves are just the beekeeper tending for bees, but this entire time, Science Bear has actually been training us for battle to save the bees swarm community. Now, where in the world did I even get this from? That's a little far-fetched. Well, it's actually hidden in the Science Bear quests, in the rewards and requirements. The quests usually require you to discover new bee types, and even bigger than that is when you've completed a fair amount of the quests, and you are given translators. You're then expected to give those translators to either Stickbug, Riley Bee, or Bucko Bee, and to begin to explore different aspects of the game even more. Science Bear is trying to educate you, not just on exploring the map, but the different characters characters as well, and all of the game mechanics, to give you a feel for exploration, to educate you for what's gonna happen next. And this is where the lore starts to get absolutely crazy, because now we're left wondering why in the world are we even underneath the lid in the first place? It doesn't exactly seem like a place you'd want to be, it just seems eerie, and in one of those clips, we see Tunnel Bear, or it might be Shadow Bear. It's hard to tell, but either way, in the main game, both of these bears are able to damage you, showing that you might be in serious danger in this maze and are actually running for your life. So the real question is, why are you actually here in the first place? It's because you're a time traveler and you're here to stop the robots from invading. You might just think that's the most stupid thing I've ever said, but let me explain. Science Bear knows that you're in a game and that it's all a simulation, and that's why this maze is most likely the outside world, a world that has been taken over by the robots, a world that Science Bear has been training you to explore. Science Bear knows that the game will update and most likely 
likely knew about the digital update before it first came out. And if you didn't notice, Bee Swarm tries to stay away from technology-based things. There's no real robo-collectors. It's all basically just like magic and nature, showing that it's trying to get rid of anything robotic. But this Bees Miss, the robo-challenge has been causing absolute pain to everyone. Everyone has to grind, and all of the Bee Swarm players are suffering mentally. Science Bear knew this was coming and has sent you on a mission to go back in time to stop this from ever happening. Because as you can see in the footage, the world is kind of glitched and it's already been taken over by the robots. Or at least in the process of being taken over. Now, why is the Robo Challenge even tied into this? Well, we can see that Digital B is no fancy computer. He actually looks like one of those big blocky ones from like 1900s. Because the first computer was actually released in 1971. But those computers were huge. But if you actually look at the atrium trailer, you will see in the bottom left corner that this recording takes place on 1409 1997 which is September 14th now keep in mind that since the first computers came out in 1991 they were extremely huge and looked nothing like digital B and the first computer that actually looks like digital B was the release of Apple's Macintosh computer in 1984 so now we know that B swarm actually takes place in around 1985 this footage takes place in and this footage takes place seven years prior in 1977 most likely around the time where they started inventing computers, or at least working on them, showing that we've most likely been sent back into this maze to stop the robo update from ever happening. So in simple words, you're currently in a simulation and are sent into the real world to stop the robots, and wouldn't you know, that is the exact plot line of the movie The Matrix. Quick spoilers ahead, but basically, robots have invaded and you're sent into the real world to go and destroy them in The Matrix, and that's exactly what's happening in Bee Swarm Simulator. Robots, or in this case, Robo Bear, are terrorizing everyone with the robo channel. Not to mention, Bees Mus is causing even more long suffering. Everyone is forced to waste away their lives, and Science Bear knew this was coming and began to develop the technology to stop it. You are sent into the lid with an iPhone given to you by Science Bear on a mission, and it seems like the lid actually sent you back in time. That's right, Science Bear developed a time traveler. Now, one last thing we have to cover is the reoccurrence of these little things and the usage of the sentence, You are an idiot. And when you look at these little guys, they look a heck ton like the stuff from Digital Bee, showing that they may be sided with the robots and also have evil intentions. These little creatures are attempting to stop you because they know the maze better than you do and are planning to destroy you so they can take over the world in the future. You are an idiot, they say. You are an idiot for ever even thinking you could stop us. They know the bigger picture and that they plan to destroy you in this maze and that you will indeed be an idiot for ever even attempting to do anything about it. And that the robo invasion and the the enslavement of all of the bee swarmers is inevitable. But hey, that's just a bee theory. And since you watched literal hours of my work, all I ask is that you take a mere few seconds to subscribe as I put so much effort into making this theory. And if you enjoyed this video, you're definitely going to enjoy my other ones.